Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody's trying to do these car emblems, and I've done it, but I don't have the emblem in my hand, so he scanned it, and I suggested he scan the backside to get a crisper uh, copy of it. So we're gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard, and I always make a copy. And then I'm gonna take this one and select it and then take the crop tool, and I'm gonna to crop away a lot of it. Now, by selecting that, the other one stayed and didn't disappear. If I hadn't have selected, it would have disappeared. Now, normally I would make this little, but it's not very big and it's okay. So I'm just gonna to go to trace bitmap. Yours might be under bait, uh, bitmap, outline trace, clip art is what I'm gonna use. And it's gonna do a pretty fair job of it. It's got some shadowing, and that's because uh, even though he did a good job of scanning it, you see some light rays. We're gonna up the detail just a little bit. Didn't really help us out any, but we're gonna leave it like that. And now we're gonna go to object and group and ungroup it. And by doing that, now we can get rid of some of this, what I call garbage that we do not need. And just kind of watch your outline to make sure you're not taking away something you should not be taking away. Like if it takes too much of the lettering, you don't want to do that, but you want to get all this shadowing, shadow. See, like right there, we could actually leave that probably because it's pretty close to the size of the part. So if you see something that grabs too much, just stay away from it. Like I'm going to try to grab this, grab this, grab this. And we did pretty good, but see, it took away too much. So I'm going to go back. Now I'm just going to get rid of a little bit more. And I think that's good. See, that's part of a object. We could maybe break the curve apart and maybe, uh, no, it's not going to help us. So now what I like to do, or the way I would do this is to take a rectangle. First of all, I'm going to flip the item. So it looks like it should be, even though it's backwards, because this is the backside that's gonna be. These are emblems that go on cars he started making, I think. So I'm gonna grab, pick tool one more time and try to grab that right there. And it worked. But I'm, you know, I'm a little bit off here, but without having the emblem right in front of me, I don't really know. So now I'm gonna take my rectangle tool and I'm going to take my smart fill tool and I'm going to fill it in. And then I'm going to take that away. Whoop. Take that away. Let's make sure we get away from that. And I'm going to go and I'm going to go to object and I'm going to break the curve apart. What I should have done is left click, right click, and then broke the curve apart and take away this line. Now, if we open up the shape tool, and let's just do the C first. And if you had this in your hand, you could do a little bit better job than I'm doing. I'm just uh, moving some nodes, uh, re removing some nodes, but that one changed a little bit, but I don't know how important it is. And the, the part of this one that's probably the most important are these sections that are actually uh, holding the letters together. So we're going to grab the shape tool. I'm going to get rid of that node right there. I'm going to get rid of these two nodes, this node, this node. I'm going to move that node up. I'm going to grab, I'm going to get rid of that node. I'm going to grab all these nodes. I'm going to right click and turn them into a line. And what that did, it, it made them all lines like it probably is. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that node. Then I'm going to take these four and I'm going to go right here to align vertically. What that did, it put them on the same plane. Now I'm going to, you see this top part of the R, I can't, without knowing that what it looks like, I can't see if that's a straight surface or not. But we're going to grab all these nodes and I'm going to right click and I'm going to turn them into a line. Now while I've got them grabbed, I can go I'm going to align them vertically again. That's putting them on the same so all of them are even. 
Now we can do the same thing with this, but we need to go to horizontally. So it's just putting the two nodes the same. I don't know which one's right or which one's perfect, but that it looks a lot better already. And if you had this item in your hand, um, you know, this looks a little bit funny right there. Let's try to delete that node. That looks pretty good, but without really knowing it, and then there's one other part that needs to have the same thing done. You'll see up top, I'm just gonna delete these nodes. So I don't know if it's got a, we got a weird one. If it needs to be here, and then we'll right click and turn these into a line. I don't know if it's supposed to be sharp. Let's add a node, delete nodes. And we can do the same thing with our line, whoop, align the, the nodes by taking these three going up to the line, align them vertically, and you move them over. Now, the only other part I really need to work on, well, right here, and without having this in my hand, I don't know which one's really right or wrong. Uh, is this supposed to be a curve or, you know, what it's supposed to actually look like? But with this in your hand, you would know more. So let's just correct this right here the same way we did the other one. This one's got us just two nodes, but we need just two nodes here. So we're gonna delete these nodes, delete that center node. I'm gonna say this one needs to move over a little bit and grab those two and right click and turn them into a line. And you can see now they need to be especially put apart. So let's grab all these nodes now. This one actually probably needs to go to here. We'll get rid of one of these nodes and then we're gonna grab them all. No, nope. yeah, we can grab them all, right click, turn them into a line. You see what it did. Now we need to grab these four and align them vertically. Align these, probably delete this node. Align these three vertically. And you see what that did. So I need to make this a line. Anytime you see something move, it's because it's not a line. We'll right click and make both these lines. And that messed that up a little bit, but without having it in my hand, I can't really tell you if this is supposed to be straight or flat. But this, this is probably the key part right here is to make these equal. So we'll grab, let's grab these four nodes and align them vertically and see what it did. But I think we probably need to move them over so let's set our nudge factor on something pretty low. Uh, 0 0.01. Go back to our problem. If you ever lose it, just hit F4. Well, I'm way, way out of somewhere. There we go. So we need to kind of fix this right here, take away that node and I forgot really where I was at. So we were gonna take these four nodes, whoop, grab the pick tool, actually grab the shape tool, I'm sorry. Grab these four nodes and you can see you've only got four nodes, align them vertically. But then we need to nudge them over just a little bit. I'm gonna use the right arrow key. That should not move. It's, they should all move if you select all four of those. That's weird. That should not happen. I don't know why that's happening. Let's try doing just two at a time. There we go. I just need to move. I guess you have to move them over individually. But get them about where you want them and then align them horizontally or vertically again. And this would be a good case to make a, a macro for that. That looks pretty good. We need to delete this node and then take both these, select them all, right click, turn them into a line. Cause this is basically a box. We'll delete all these nodes, move this node up to the top, delete these nodes, you delete node, node. Let's move this one a little bit higher. Now let's select them all, 
turn them into a line. I had both notes selected. Just select one note to bring that down. Grab those two, turn them into a line. Now we'll grab these two and align them horizontally. Let's grab these two, do the same thing. That's one thing if you do all your horizontal at one time, you, know, you don't have to change this. But what I was saying, it might be a, this would be a good case for a hotkey that you could just punch it in and be done with it. Don't have to select that. <clears throat> then we got one other little problem right here. And this, this is gonna be a good kind of a case right here. Let's delete this node, this node, this node, this node, this node, and then select these two nodes, right click and turn them into a line, and that's gonna straighten that out. And then delete these nodes. And without having this in my hand, I can't really promise you that I'm on the mark, but if you'll get rid of some of these extra, I don't know what I hit. Without, um, I cut my, I must have the, I hit the eraser tool. Without having it in my hand, I can't really tell you um, what it's supposed to look like perfectly. Like, I don't know if this C has this break. Um, having the object in your hand is gonna help you a lot. But we've, got, we've gotten most of the work done like this R. Does this R have this little lip? And it does, but does it really? So let's back up a little bit and take that node back and it's got that little bit of a lip, but it doesn't need those, you know, and then you need, you just need to work with it. But your most important part are gonna be these straight lines. You know, the parts that are connecting it together, and then you'll just have to um, look back at your object. He did a pretty good job of scanning it this time. I'd actually maybe move this note over here and get rid of that note. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's see what the, yeah, you know, this is, this needs some work. Um, probably delete these two nodes. That looks really funny because it's just a, a line connecting these two lines. So we need to put a node there and then but these two need to be lines. Break this one, bring that out a little bit turn that into a line. Well, it's already a line. So we can move it up just a hair or select them both and align them for, uh, horizontally. Didn't change much. Take all these. This is gonna be the key. If you can get all, all your nodes aligned, well, I'd both of them check. Anyway, let's fill this in with black and see how it looks. Doesn't look half bad. The, the, uh, this, this needs to be gone right here, I would think. And then take your smart fill and move it out of the way. You still got your line. Anyway, let's see how I compare it to the first one I did earlier. Pretty close. I think we're within reason, like I said one more time, and if you had this in your hand, you'll know more about it. Like this little lip there, you know, can't tell what's going on there. And the curvature of the C, this actually has a little bit more of a point than I do. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.